hit him with that axe, beat ya. Y'all gonna learn the deck. I'm a teacher. That act reach ya. Get into the bag, get into the bag like Berserker, boy. Fuck around, I'ma hurt you, boy. Stick jacks. But you gotta believe in me. You gotta believe that everything I tell you to do is for the best. Yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, some my peoples and my guys. Look alive, look alive. It's your boy Ak Reacher with another episode of the Jab Jamboree, produced by the LDBC, executive produced by the Full Preserve Clan. Man, let's talk about it. Oh, um, I, I didn't know boxing was gonna start having its own what if series. But apparently, it seems like this is what's happening in boxing. But before I get to the what ifs, let's talk about what's happening the here and now and stuff like that. Um, I got to keep it real. Um. Uh, Natasha Jonas and Michaela Mayer for the IBF title this weekend in Liverpool. Um, looking forward to this um, because of the stylistic clash. I think that it's going to be a great matchup. Uh, Michaela Mayer always been a calculated pressure fighter. Natasha Jonas has always been a boxer puncher. Oh. Uh, I might have to make my predictions here and now. I might have to make my prediction here and now because um, I might not be able to be on the beltway today. I'm going to try to make it, but I'm not. But salute to my brothers out there. You know what I mean? I know they're going to hold the set down as usual. Um. Now, I got to be honest about this fight. I got to be honest about this fight. In my heart, I want Natasha Jonas to win. But I feel as though Michaela Mayer is going to win. I think Michaela Mayer is going to put that pressure on her, make her tired, not make her able to breathe. She got a she got a lot of people in a uh uh corner, uh Michaela Mayer, Coach K, Manny Robles. It's a few different ingredients over in Michaela Mayer's corner. And what they always say, uh two heads is better than one, three heads is better than none. So I definitely think, you know, even with the camp and you know, with Michaela Mayer's side, she got a really solid side. As far as Natasha Jonas is concerned, you know, I always like Natasha Jonas. You know, um, I just feel like this may end up being the last to raw. I think if she lose to Michaela Mayer this weekend that is that is going to be over. It's kind of sad because, like I said, I really like Natasha Jonas, but if she pull this one off, I guess I'm going to have to eat crow. I'm going to have to eat crow. Um, looking forward to this matchup this weekend. Can't wait to see what happens. Um, the weigh-in was today. They both came in, made weight. 
So we're going to see what happens. They, you know, Saturday afternoon over here, my time, because over there it's going to be night in the UK. We'll see what happens. Now, real quick, real fast. Allegedly, this is why this is the What If series. Jamal Charlo and Canelo Alvarez um, are supposedly in negotiations to make a match. Now, this was a very calculated move by Canelo to get Charlo right now. If this is happening, like I said, I do not believe that he's going to fight David Benavidez. This thing has always been grafted and designed. The plan is to starve Benavidez out to a point to where He's going to end up fighting David Morrell. That's the last person left at 168. After he's done, I don't want to hear about him, Billy, and Silly, whatever. After that, my man is the number one at 168. In my mind, he's undisputed champion. You can move up to 75 after that. Don't wait on Canelo. I seen what you did to Bivol in the sparring session a few years back. Punish that man. Punish them. Wasn't suitable for kids. That's why my video got taken down. Actually, I got to bang the gavel on YouTube for that. Got to bang the gavel on y'all for that. Got to bang the gavel on. I got to issue... YouTube, some gavel bangs for that. But anyway, I ain't even worried about you at 175. I, I think, you know, the only obstacle right now is morale. Canelo ain't even, because Canelo know what's going to happen. I look at that fight as, all right, so put it this way. See how it's, they say Benavidez and Canelo is now the number one fight in boxing opposed to Devin and Tank. I still think Tank and Devin is better because the buildup and the background story. Now, I, I, I'm not saying it's going to happen. I just feel like that is a better fight. In my judgment, it's more entertainment um, they appeal more to an urban crowd, you know. Um, even though Benavidez speaks fluent Spanish, Canelo's English isn't that great, so it's not gonna translate into the states like how Devin and Tank is and the rivalry. Now, don't get me wrong, there's definitely a rivalry there. I just don't think that's the number one fight in boxing. Just like I don't think that fight is going to happen. Now, if you ask me, act, which one do I think is more likely to happen? Yeah, maybe Canelo and Benavidez is more likely to happen because of the mandatory. But I don't even know the WBC let more Charlo, and this is surprising to me, they let that man hold on to the belt a whole two years, year and a half. They ain't go, they ain't about to have Canelo be stripped or anything this time. You seen that didn't work out for them when he didn't want to fight Triple G. Y'all forgot. I didn't forget. Y'all probably forgot. So he's gonna be able to play reindeer games as long as he wants to. And then Suleiman got on board. He got on board. He was like, yo, Canelo, whatever you want. If you want the moon and the stars, we'll find a way to give it to you. So, I 
I'm just being honest. That fight ain't happening either. Just like Tank and Devin ain't happening, I don't think Benavidez and Canelo's happening. I think he going to wait till Benavidez get too big to make the weight. He about to be 27. And he going to have to go up to 75. I don't think that he going to. And then he's all he got to worry about then is Morat. Once, once he he's starving him out, and the final fight is gonna probably be morale for Benavidez, because that's what's gonna happen. That's the play. He probably gonna end up. That's probably gonna be his first fight on Amazon Prime. It's gonna be David Morale versus the, the Battle of the Davids. And God forbid something bad happen and morale win. You know what Canelo gonna say? Free. I'm free, y'all. That's what ends up happening. It's just like what what the homie said. Um, you know, they get these dudes in trap fights. And then something bad ends up happening. They really wanted to fight somebody else. Look, look what happened to Lil B-Hop. Lil B-Hop was supposed to fight Gutierrez. Gutierrez ended up catching COVID. COVID saved so many dudes. Because Lil B-Hop probably would have at least been a champion by now. He ended up getting Hector, Gar Gar Hector Garcia ended up, you know what I mean, beating him. And then, you know, Hector Garcia ended up beating Lil B-Hop. So, yeah, I, that fight ain't happening either. Um, mandatory or no mandatory, they probably going to make up a new belt. Or they going to make uh, another franchise title for for uh, Canelo so that he can still be undisputed. Like they try to make T.O. think or something like that. That, that fight ain't happening. And if Canelo do do it, that's going to be his farewell tour. If he do fight, it ain't going to be because the WBC tell him to do it. It's going to be like a farewell tour type of fight. Like, y'all always wanted Benavidez here. Excuse me. Sit. But um, we'll see what happens in the next couple of weeks. If y'all see the Canelo Charlo kicker press conference, don't be surprised if I tell you I told you so. And you know, the beginning of the week was Martin Luther King Day. And... Uh, Canelo's riding this whole wave like he could just get away with um, not fighting Benavidez, knowing that that Ben is mandatory for like two, three years. I wish he would have never lost the belt. I want That's why this is what if. I'm wondering what would have happened if my mans would have never lost the belt. What would have happened? Because to me, Benavidez is still the WBC champion. He lost, he didn't lose it to Canelo or physically. What Dr. King said, because no lie could go on forever. That, that, that's how we feeling about this right now. And um, I got to be completely honest. Yeah. 
Canelo's undisputed, but and I'm not gonna say he earned didn't earn it. He 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 collect he collected a couple of the Infinity Stones, but there's still one that he didn't get, in my opinion, at least on his own. He had a lot of help. So I guess we'll be waiting to see uh, what develops in the next week or so. And we will find out. Before I go, I really believe that this is true. Because Canelo, he never wanted to fight Charlo when he was active or anything like that. When Charlo was begging for the fights and he was playing reindeer games with the zone and Eddie Hearn and all of that. Now he over here on the PBC. He got to make something happen with PBC fighters. So to me, from Canelo's point of view, this makes complete sense. I'm not saying I like it, but it's realistic to me. I don't even think it's a what if. To me, it's when. It's when next. What's the date? Because it makes complete sense. Shoot, he fought a Charlo that was active. The smaller one, but uh, an active uh, 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 Charlo. Now let's see what happens when he fights the older dysfunctional brother that's going through things right now. To me, this ain't even the right time for more to get this fight. But it's either here now or he'll never get it so i understand why he would uh take this fight here and now so um with that being said i just want to double back on the natasha jonas and michaela mayer fight um i'm picking michaela mayer in this fight um salute to the ldbc uh, salute to the full berserker clan. Salute to the usual suspects. Make sure you shop usual suspects six.com because you fit the description. It's your boy, Ak Reacher. I never steal you wrong, and I'm out. Peace. I hit him with that Ak Reacher. Y'all gonna learn the deck. I'm a teacher. That Ak Reacher. Get into the bag, get into the bag like Berserker, boy. Fuck around, I'ma hurt you, boy. Stick jab, sidestep, uppercut you, boy. The champ is here, you can't survive in my circle, boy. No, no.